welcome back to my channel and another vintage haul. So I love vintage and I really enjoyed filming the last video about the vintage items that I got for Christmas. So I thought I would film another vintage video. I absolutely love Melbourne and I think it's definitely the fashion capital of Australia. I actually lived there for six months back in 2018. So I know all the best vintage places to shop in Melbourne. So I thought I would do a bit of a haul of what I picked up two months ago when I went back. So the first vintage items I'm going to show are from yesteryear vintage. The first thing I'm wearing is this necklace. It gives me major Gossip Girl vibes. I've been re-watching Gossip Girl and I just love that they wear like statement necklaces. I think this one's really classic and, and simple and can go with pretty much everything. I also got from yesteryear vintage this lovely cotton 70s top. It's literally the most beautiful cotton. It's completely breathable and it's not even see-through on. It's completely classic and I'd gone with the intention of wanting to bring back a top like this because I'd been watching Dirty Dancing and I just loved the shirts that they wore in that film, the white tops with the big sleeves. It's just like a beautiful, staple, high quality classic top. I'm so, so glad I picked this one up. The next things I'm going to show are from, they're from a shop called Swap. And Swap wasn't there when I lived there. Swap was a new find, which I was so excited about that I discovered like the first day back. And they're just such high quality, unique vintage pieces. This dress is probably my favorite thing I've ever purchased vintage. Honestly, I fell in love with this and it was so broken. All of the fabric here had come off the zip. It had come unattached down here at the base of the zip. I spent over an hour, almost two hours, just repairing this. It's beautiful. I even love the little buttons here on the sleeve. And when I got this, the lady there was so upset that I was buying it. She was like, we only just got that yesterday. I tried it on, it didn't fit me. Like she really didn't want to let it go. So I was really like, yes, I have to have this dress. I never thought red was my color, but I'm, I'm wearing it a bit more at the moment just to sort of feel it out. It's just got a timeless feel to it because it's classy, but it's also like a little bit sexy and just fun. I was so stoked with this. And that shop, yeah, there's so much to look through at Swap. And I think I might be moving to Brisbane in two months time and I looked in the hammer swap there. So I'm so excited to go and check that out. This was one of three things I got at Swap. The next is a shirt. And when I saw this, and even when I showed other people since I've been back, they're like, uh, that's an ugly shirt. And it is an ugly shirt. But the way I've been styling it is actually kind of cute. So it's just this big white t-shirt. Just one like this, it does look stupid and ugly. It is totally an ugly shirt. But I folded the sleeves up and then I tied it up at the waist. And the shirt actually looks super cute. It's like a twist on a classic shirt. It's got the little lace collar and the cute buttons. And I was like, I need that. That's a staple, it's a classic. So yeah, that's my ugly find, but I really, really love it. And the next thing, well, the third and final thing I got from Swap this dress was actually four sizes too big for me when I bought it. So it is like a shirt dress and it's very, very long and it's the thickest fabric. And that is what I was drawn to. I have no idea anything about this dress. Um, the tag has been cut off. It could even be from, I have no idea. It could be somewhere modern, I don't know, even though they do curate vintage pieces there. But this dress, I just loved it. I was like, it's such a quality fabric and such a timeless silhouette and color. And I just was like, I have to buy it anyway. I'm going to buy it and get it tailored. When I got home, I washed it and it shrank a good size or more. So it went from being about four sizes too big for me to being two to three sizes too big for me. So then I took it to my local tailor and I'd always wanted to experiment with tailoring. She took it in for me a couple of sizes and now it just sits like loose but in a in a nice way. I think this is so cute and it's gonna be so cute to style for winter time as well with boots and a duster and it's just gonna be just like a forever piece. So the next items I got from a vintage shop in the city in the Melbourne CBD called Retro Star Vintage and that shop has everything. It's huge, it's like a jungle in there. I had been looking for some jumpers still because it was really cold when we went to Melbourne. It was like even though it was November, it was full on winter weather. And I wanted like a, a 
a cardigan like what they wear in the 50s over day dresses just like kind of a chunky cardigan this one is made in japan it's perfect for over summer outfits it's perfect for cooler months it's got like even though it's got holes it's not cold because it's got like mesh it's kind of lined inside see-through mesh and this is also perfect just for going in the movies in summer which Iggy and I do a lot because he loves movies so if I'm just wearing a little dress and we go to the movies I take this with me and it's perfect the other jumper that I got from retro star vintage is this one here and I love these colors brown like rich brown hues are like my favorite thing to wear it's so cozy and comfy and they gave it to me really cheap because they were about to put all their winter stuff into storage I love the sparkle like who doesn't need a bit of sparkle the next thing I did was I raided Vintage Garage in Collingwood and I got this corduroy jacket. I had been looking for a corduroy jacket, honestly, for so long. It looks super cute as well over the um, cream shirt dress that I got from Swap. And this jacket, I, Iggy and I ended up wearing the same outfit home because I wanted to wear this straight after I bought it and we literally looked the same on the plane on the way back. So I forgot to show my favorite thing of all. I don't know how I could have forgotten about this. But this shirt I got from the Vintage Marketplace on Brunswick Street. And that place is seriously my favorite place to find vintage clothing in Melbourne. This is the only thing I bought there this time. Every time I go there, I end up leaving with one thing, one really amazing thing that I love. The first time I went there, I got this incredible handbag that's still my favorite handbag the second time i got a vintage dolce and gabbana skirt this was my third time there and my third purchase and i just love this shirt i just think this fabric is beautiful it doesn't crease and it's so thick it's not sheer at all and yeah this is probably actually my favorite find of everything oh this in the red dress if you live in melbourne or you're visiting melbourne or you love vintage, like get yourself to Melbourne and go vintage shopping. I highly recommend vintage shopping, especially in Melbourne because it's just unmatched.